Welcome to day seven of how to recreate, how to build your swing in 30 days. Today we are going to start to break away from the setup. If you haven't already watched the videos on the setup, I suggest you go back and watch those. Uh, today we're going to go into the takeaway and we're just going to go ahead and test a few things with your takeaway first as far as your body's mobility to see if the takeaway that I'm going to teach you if you were able to do it. You might have to modify it a little bit, so this is a great way for you to kind of check what's going on. Uh, in the meantime, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, go ahead and do so. Just hit the little button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and uh, let's get going on the takeaway. Alright, so what we're testing is your thoracic mobility. So your spine is made up, your cervical spine, your thoracic spine, and then your lumbar spine. Uh, when it comes to turning in your takeaway first in your full swing, it's all a lot of it comes from your thoracic spine. That's what needs to be mobile. So the easy way to check that is find a chair. Make sure your knees can be at 90 degrees. You can do it with really any type of chair. You just need to sit on the edge of the chair. Feet together, knees together. Cross the club over your shoulders. Okay. Do you imagine that basically this is straight on 45 degree angle? This is around what we like to see when it comes to your shoulder turn. So if I just check through my full swing, actually so right there I'm doing pretty good I'm close to 45 degrees and then if I go into my backswing again I'm close to 45 degrees you're gonna see a little bit more when it comes to like uh, Rory or the, some of the guys on tour and we might be a little bit shorter for some of us who don't have that ability another way that you can test it is if you don't have a club and you're just watching this at your office just sit on the edge of your chair make sure you're standing sitting straight up and down put your hands right in front of you turn into your backswing Put your arms straight out in front of you and you can kind of tell if that's 45 degrees or not. Some might be greater, some might be less. And then you can do the same thing on the way through. That's also a great way for you to kind of train is just sit here and kind of work on doing that on the way back and on the way through. And then just work on training the same idea. Okay, uh, so that's how we test if we are flexible enough uh, in our thoracic spine to really have a good takeaway and a good turn. Uh, keep on working at it and uh, we'll get to the rest of the video here in a sec. Alright, so everybody pretty much knows what the takeaway is. The takeaway is in your setup as you get the club to parallel with the ground. That is our takeaway. Okay. Uh, to start off, I just want you to try to get the biggest turn that you possibly can in your takeaway. So when you set up to it, I really want you to feel like, trying to feel like your hips don't move a whole lot in the beginning. Okay. I just want you to feel like you really turn. Okay, if the club gets stuck inside like that, that's okay. We're gonna cover how to fix that in the next video. But I want you to really work on getting your shoulders to turn. So what's gonna also happen is once you reach a certain point in that turn, basically your hip from there is going to help out. And that's why we talked about how much knee flex you should have in the previous videos, because if you have too much, we know the issues that come along with that. All right, so make sure when you set up to it, all right, good flat back, and then just really feel like you turn, okay? Try to feel like your chest is completely facing away from the target when you get into your take weight position, all right? Club parallel with the ground. So that's number one, that's what I want you to do. So check and see what your mobility is like, and then I just want you to really work on turning as much as you can. In the next video, we're gonna cover how to get that club away from being deep inside to get it more on plane. 